Hello everybody. Today I'm painting the cutest little trinket box that I've made from a mold. Um, I bought this awesome mold from Divine Specs on Etsy. They have lots of great stuff there. Uh, Pat, thank you so much for providing me with this mold. Um, I'm going to be making lots and lots of little trinket boxes and I will be sharing them on my YouTube channel. Um, so what I've done is I've let it dry for a couple of weeks actually um, and I have painted the outside and the lid gold. So I've sponged on a couple of coats of Mayan gold from Folk Art. Uh, all paint colors will be listed in the description of the video just in case you miss it or I don't hold the paint bottles there long enough or slowly enough. Um, I'm now using Berry Wine, nice deep red, for the inside of my trinket box. It's going to be so beautiful, you guys. Today I'm going to be using a crackle medium, which you may have seen me use before. I, If not, I've linked a couple of crackle tutorials in the description of this video. Or you can just search them, Rachel's Rocks Crackle, uh, and it'll come up. I have over 240 videos that are free for all of you to play with so you can learn all the stuff I've taught myself because I'm self-taught. <laughs> anyway, I have sponged in some red in the middle of the um, trinket box and the middle of the lid, which actually sits inside the cup part. Um, I've painted that red as well. That's that berry wine color. Now I'm going to be letting this gold paint dry for about an hour before I use my crackle medium, which I got online through Amazon, but you can also find it at Michael's or Joann's or places like that, like larger craft stores. So I've let my gold dry. And now the best way for me to explain crackle is you have to sandwich it. Um, and I don't like to say sandwich. I like sandwich. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I know it's not spelled that way, and I know most people don't say it that way, but when I ask my kids if they want a sandwich, they know what I'm talking about. So what you do is you sandwich crackle medium between acrylic paints. So you start with acrylic paint, you put the crackle in the middle like a nice little peanut butter and jelly, and then you let it dry, and then you put your top acrylic on like a top piece of bread and then you let it dry so so far I've done my first piece of bread which is the gold then I've added my jelly which is my crackle medium and I've let it dry and I'm putting it on these two paint brushes so I can move this around and kind of hold it still it's sitting on the the lip of the uh, lid um, now the crackle medium is dry you know it's dry because it kind of looks dull and mat, then you sandwich it, you put your top piece of bread on, which is your next color of acrylic paint. So sandwich between acrylic paints is the crackle medium or the jelly. So yeah, that's the best way for me to explain it. Then you let it dry. So I've done a time-lapse video to show you what it looks like while it's drying and crackling and you can see that beautiful Mayan gold color coming through the crackle and it just looks fantastic. Now, I let it dry really, really good and now I'm using resin, same way I use resin all the time. I just kind of soap it on using uh, gloved hands. I rub it all over like it's a bar of soap. Make sure everything is covered with a nice thin layer of resin. And I'm going to do the same thing with the lid, just a nice thin coat. Make sure everything's covered, just like a little bar of soap. Then I'm going to put it in my container to dry overnight, which is sitting on scat mat. I'll leave a link in the description for that. It's the best thing I've found so far to dry my rocks and stuff on. Um, and it doesn't leave like giant nipples of resin on the bottom. I know, I'm sorry, but that's what they're called. <laughs> Lumps and nipples. Um, so now I'm going to let this dry overnight. I used a, a butane torch or a kitchen torch uh, to remove the bubbles 
from it and now it's dry. Um, my resin tutorials are in the description of this video or you can just look it up, Rachel's Rocks Resin, and I have a couple of them. My most recent one is probably the best. Um, so now this is what it looks like. I kind of don't really want to paint it. <laughs> it looks so beautiful. And you could do so many different things. You can use a totally different metallic color as your base coat and then put the black over top and bring that metallic color through just like I did with the gold. You can use any color of metallic in the background. So it's so shiny and I can't stop touching it. So now I have to remove the fingerprints <laughs> before I start painting. So the first color I'm going to choose is Berry Wine. It's the same color we put in the inside. So when you open it up, there's that surprise deep color red. Um, I'm also going to incorporate some baby pink. So just any kind of light pink. And I'm going to actually swipe the pink on. Um, and this time we're going to keep our brush strokes. So I'm going to swipe the pink on while the Berry Wine is just freshly put down. So it just kind of mingles in nicely, kind of blends in and uh, makes kind of like rustic looking petals. That's my, that's my plan, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I don't want anything about this to be perfect. Um, we are just, we are just painting the lid. We're just going to do some delicate flowers. I might go overboard with it. You don't have to. <laughs> you can definitely stop where you think there's enough going on here. Um, but I am only painting the lid. So if you're worried about, oh no, we're covering up all that beautiful crackle. Um, you don't have to paint it. You can leave it right here and put whatever you want inside and love it just as much as I love mine. Uh, it's totally up to you. But... I am not painting the rest of it, so I'm just going to make the lid super fancy and the rest we can just enjoy that crackle. So I'm doing the same thing with each petal. This is just going to be a really simple flower. I'm not going to go all out. I'm not going to try and make it realistic in any way, but people will know it's flowers, okay? I'm sure they'll know. And if they don't, tell me what you see. Put in the comments what you see. <laughs> Now I'm going to use some classic green and I'm going to just do some simple little pointy jagged leaves. You of course can choose to do whatever kind of leaves you want or you can leave it alone. It's totally up to you. <laughs> I will be outlining pretty much everything with a little fine line of gold just to outline it, just to kind of separate it from everything else. Um, but that's also optional. I like to outline things. You might know that by now. I have missed you guys. I'm just going to put a couple of leaves here and there. I'm going to try not to go too overboard with it because I am going to be adding some little bits of lilac, some little bits of uh, baby's breath, little white flowers, um, and some little bluebells. So, But we're just going to do them simple. We're not going to be too detailed. Um, my jagged little leaves are almost done and, uh, and we're just going to try and do just something pretty delicate, kind of royal looking, um, something you really don't mind putting, you know, your, your rings in while you go have a bath, um, or a necklace that you, you don't want to forget to put on before you go out tonight, you know? Use it for whatever you want. It's the cutest little trinket box in the world. Um, I'm not sure if Divine Specs sells the trinket boxes or if she only sells the molds. Um, but I, I use the same stuff that I use to make my rocks. So I do have a video of how do I make my rocks. Um, it shows you all the stuff that I use and how I do it. And I use the same stuff to make my little trinket box with the mold that I bought from Divine Specs. So it works the same way. I let it dry for the same length of time. Um, it's nice and soft and smooth and round. I love round things. I just love round things. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. Maybe that's why I choose not to stop eating cake. <laughs> Who knows? Can you tell I've missed you guys? Just doing this with you makes me happy. So...
I have missed you. It's been a while again. Um, I've had a lot going on. We have our front deck being built, um, and it's taken a little bit longer than what it was supposed to. Um, and of course, while that's going on, I can't record tutorials. So, but now it's been a quiet weekend and I've had the chance to, um, work with you guys for you guys. So I have done a very light outline of gold around my petals. I used a blending brush to put a dark center in my flowers. I was going to use a sponge, but I couldn't find that. So I just used a blending brush, which I have a tutorial for as well. I can make blending brushes in all different sizes, depending on what I want to do with it. It's basically like having a sponge on a stick, but it's brushes and it's old brushes that I don't need anymore. <laughs> so they're still usable. Now I've done an outline around that fuzzy black area. I've done with gold, just little tiny, tiny dots using a dotting needle. Um, you don't have to use a dotting needle. You can use a toothpick or if you have really small dotting tools, you can do that as well. It's totally up to you, but I'm just putting various sizes of yellow dots in that center. Uh, I don't really mind if it's perfect. I'm kind of making it rustic looking, uh, on top of that beautiful golden black crackly. It almost looks like marble in a way. It, it reminds me of like a, a crackled marble. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. Imagine if you did like a nice deep blue over top of the gold. So you have like a blue crackle. Um, just think of all the things that you can do. Just sandwich it. Don't forget to sandwich it or sandwich. S-A-M-M-I-C-H, sandwich. That's it. You're at Rachel's Rocks now. <laughs> All right, so I did do a couple of little fine stems coming up. You might have seen that right before I put that medium blue in front of your face. Um, and from these gold stems, I'm just doing a couple of little blue bells, just dangling. They're just dangling. They might not even be dangling in the proper direction. <laughs> but this is not a real flower sitting on top of this trinket box. We are painting. Today we are painting. So I'm just going to do two little sprigs of these blue bells hanging off the side. And then uh, I have to apologize ahead of time. I forgot to hit record and show you how I was doing my lilacs. <laughs> Basically, it's four, four petals, just four petals. See, you can see them at the bottom of the screen, but you don't get to see how I painted them. <laughs> but you'll see in a minute that they multiply. There's more of them there, but you didn't get to see how I painted them. But they're literally just tiny little, um, it's kind of like, it looks like a little X of purple. And then in the centers, I'm going to put a darker dot just in the centers of those little lilac flowers. See, they just look like little purple X's and they're kind of chubby. Um, so, and then I'm going to put the dark purple dot in the center and yeah, they're really simple. I'm so sorry that I did not hit the record button. You would not believe how upset that makes me. <laughs> All that work. And you didn't even get to see me do it. Um, I am really sorry. So hopefully I can stop doing that. Now I'm going to use some white. And I'm going to get out my little dotting needle again. Or toothpick. Whatever you have that's really, really tiny. And I'm just going to do like little bunches. Little, little bunches of white flowers. And it's kind of like baby's breath. I don't know the other like scientific name for it. I just know it as baby's breath and it used to be in like a lot of like corsages or or bouquets flowers if, if someone bought you flowers you would always see them in there uh, and I know them as baby's breath so if there's like a different term or name for them that you know it by please put it in the comments I always like to learn now I'm just kind of outlining my bluebells carefully I'm not being like really really specific I'm not making sure every little bit is outlined perfectly um, and I'm doing a couple of little fine, fine stems coming from the baby's breath in certain blank areas in the little bunches. Um, 
and just making sure that they kind of seem like they're attached to something and they're not just floating there. <laughs> it's not just dust bunnies. Um, and I'm also going to outline certain areas if they're overlapping a leaf or something or a flower. I am going to outline that in black just to separate them and make sure that they're they're not stuck together. And uh, yeah, is it too much? You might think it's too much, but it might look really pretty with the rest of it. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm going to resin it so that it's all shiny, shiny, just like it's uh, bottom half. And uh, we'll see how it looks afterwards. And I'll probably get the chance to show you guys a couple of little things that I have at my desk. They haven't been resined yet. Well, some of them. Um, but yeah. Hmm. I actually really like this. I think it's sweet. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see it soon. But uh, for now, let's show you an episode of What's at My Desk. Okay. Yeah, that's cheesy. <laughs> and I'm not sorry. So I've got a unresined Hamsa stone. There's lots of glitter and sparkle and color. I love the color. You know I love color. So yeah, that one's going to be resined. And I'll probably show you in my next tutorial what it looks like all shiny. <laughs> Same with this one. I always like to put hope stones. I know every day of my life I'm searching for hope. <laughs> and I'm trying to spread hope. Um, so I usually have a hope rock in my shop. Here's another crackle flower. Um, I thought that was nice. I incorporated the crackle effect with the flower and then the uh, water, color shifting watercolors in the background. And here's another one. This is a bug. One of my beautiful rock scarabs. Um, yeah, this one has not only a mandala, but the color shifting watercolors in the background as well. I also have put a couple of these in my shop recently, and I will be putting more hand-painted mandala and a handmade bead necklace. Beautiful, beautiful teal beads. I just love these. Um, and I used color-shifting watercolors in the background on that uh, pendant as well. You guys know I love that watercolor. So much you can do with that stuff. What else? Probably nothing. <laughs> So, I'll show you this. It's all shiny together. If you felt that your first coat of resin on the bottom half wasn't good enough, you can also resin that half again. You can resin it as many times as you want, but make sure your lid still fits on uh, when you're done. Um, I'm going to make sure that you can see how big this is. I'm putting this pendant in there. You could put lots of things in there, really. Special, your wedding bands and stuff when you're washing your hands. Totally up to you what you use it for. But I think it's great. I think it's really pretty. I love the crackle effect. Please let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I have missed you so much. I have another one coming out in two days. Um, some inspirational stones and more to come. I also owe you a couple of flower tutorials for the month of July and August, so I'll be bringing those out very soon. And uh, yeah, keep painting, guys. That's the best advice I could ever give you. I love you. Bye.